Hey everyone, my name is Kyle Gilbert. I'm the Corporate Account Manager here at Ibex Surface Technologies and today I'm going to be introducing our new 2021 Maximus Thermal Flame Spray System. This system will coat up to 1200 square feet an hour with a 12 inch spray pattern which is great for large commercial projects or anyone who's looking to have a system that will coat wide spray patterns for quick efficient coating. The system will spray thermal plastic powder coating for again long term corrosion protection. The difference between this and the Spartacus is this is just going to be a larger newer technology that is going to offer again larger spray patterns and more square footage if you need that for larger commercial projects. The Spartacus is a great system but this is just basically a system that offers the same size and portability but more production rate at the end. The system itself weighs 99 pounds which is great again for portability for moving it, maneuvering it in and out of a trailer bring it on site beside you while you are coating. This is a gravity fed system so if you start running out of powder you can easily go ahead and fill up the hopper with more powder without stopping production or any, having any kind of downtime when powder runs out low. Two guns we offer with this system, very similar to the Spartacus except for the, the actual size of the gun on the end is a little bit wider for that production rate. This is our Centurion cooling gun which is great for concrete uh, projects or fiberglass projects or anyone who's doing long term, uh, long term coating on large surfaces they want to have a system that has a cooling system on it this is the gun I would go with. If you're mainly going to be doing metal or smaller projects, our high flow steel gun is going to be a great option as well. Both systems and both guns, sorry, both guns will offer 12 inches square feet and a 12 inch spray pattern. So even though the other gun looks a lot bigger, it still has the same output as our smaller high flow steel gun. So that wraps it up for the 2021 Maximus thermal spray system. This is a new system. Again, it's going to come to market really quickly and customers are going to love them for commercial grade projects offering a revolutionary coating system that's going to do 1,200 square feet an hour. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Jay Campbell, the technical trainer here at IBEX North America. Today I want to go over some general setup as well as maintenance for the Maximus Flame Spray system. Alright, so with any kind of pneumatic driven system, the one risk that can happen is moisture getting into the unit. So with the Maximus system, you do get a pressure reg regulator with a built-on moisture separator. The moisture separator does a fantastic job at eliminating or getting rid of any moisture that starts to collect within the moisture cup itself. So when you first use the machine, you hook it up to the side of the unit right here where the three-quarter inch Chicago fitting is. You're going to want to increase your pressure to 8 bar. As soon as it's set to 8 bar, go ahead and crack open that release valve on the bottom of that moisture cup to make sure that any moisture that's being collected is releasing and not entering the unit itself. If moisture does get into the machine, you'll notice that there's probably going to be some more spitting or more globs that's happening out of the units or out of the end of the gun. If you do notice that that's happening and there's a lot of buildup within the guns itself, to clean out the end of these guns is fairly easy. Typically what I do is I'll begin to start the flame, but I won't increase the air on the gun all the way. I really want to have that nice concentrated orange flame to heat up the particles that are left over within the gun itself. Once they start to activate and melt a little bit, you can go ahead and take either a plastic putty knife and scrape out the rest of that material, or if you have a rag that's soaked in acetone, if there's any kind of you know, specks or any kind of smaller particles left within the gun, it'll soften that material and you can just wipe it right out of there. To interchange the materials in the actual hopper itself, it's really important that you spend a few minutes doing so. There is a built-in blower in this unit itself, so if you need some clean, dry air, the blower helps out with that tremendously. The reason why we want to take a few minutes to clean out the hopper from one color to another is because these colors do not blend. So if you're going from a red to a black, you're not going to get a blended color. You're going to get speckles that are happening. Or let's say if it's a blue or a yellow, you're not going to get green. You'll just have blue and yellow speckles. So that's why when we interchange the colors, we want to make sure that we're taking the time to thoroughly clean out the hopper as well as the gun. If the blower is not giving you the, the finished product that you're looking for, you can also use a vacuum system. On the bottom of this hopper inside of the machine, there are two locking flaps. When you remove the pins that hold those flaps in place, you can pull up on those flaps. What that does is that's going to disengage the hopper itself. So you'd be able to remove the hopper, clean it out very thoroughly, but also use the blower to clean out the chamber. And again, if you'd like to use a vacuum system, you can suck up the remainder of what's left over, but make sure you are spending a few minutes doing that to ensure that there's no speckles that are happening on the next coat. So now I wanna talk about CFM requirements. 
depending on which gun you are using will really determine the amount of CFM that you'll need for the system itself. Since the cooling gun has a built-on cooling system, it's going to require a little bit more air usage. So for this gun, you'll need around 46 CFM. For the large high-flow steel gun, you're going to need around 40 CFM since this does not have a cooling system built onto it. The only other major difference with the Maximus versus the Spartacus is also the controls of the air on the gun itself. On the Spartacus guns, traditionally they have the air control mounted on the gun itself. But for the new Maximus flame spray system, the air control for the gun is actually going to be on the side of the unit right next to the powder pressure knob. All right, so now I want to talk about some of the key features on the Maximus flame spray system. On the side of the unit, we have controls such as the powder volume amount, so we can control the amount of material that we're using onto the surface, which is going to be the plus and minus sign, the red and black buttons on the side of the unit. When you push on the plus sign, that's going to increase the volume, and you'll notice that on the front door, inside of that window, there's a, a gauge or a cylinder that moves the needle between 0 and 5. For a steel application, the recommended settings is usually 3.2 to 3.5. If you're working on a thinner, uh, a thinner piece of aluminum, but you want to you want to have a thicker coating to that, you can increase the volume to make sure that you are getting a thicker coating on a surface that may not be able to take the temperature uh, as as much as a thicker steel surface would. Uh, the other nice feature is the powder, the speed of which the material is coming out of the gun, which is going to be located on the air pressure control, uh, which is the black knob on the side of the unit. That's going to control the speed of which the powder is coming out of the gun. So if we're doing something that uh, requires you to have uh, a little bit closer of a flame, or you need to get a little bit closer, such as handrails and whatnot, just bring the speed of the material down. That way you don't have a lot of overspray flying all over the place.